So, first big challenge, chopping two herbs, very fine. Let's start off with the chives. Secret here, keep that board clean. Stack the chives. These little tail ends, discard, OK? How many times have you seen chefs chop super fine and the board's green? All the flavor's lost on the board. We want the flavor kept in the herb. So, bunch up. Three-finger rule, one in front, two behind. This knuckle protects. Please be careful. One in front, let the knife do the work. Let's use the base of the knife and then literally just pinch nice and fine. They're called rundles because it's the shape of a round cylinder. Now, stop. I clutch over the chives and I'm not pressurizing or bruising the chives. So as we get the maximum flavor in the dish with the chives, and I want the goodness of the chives in the dish, not on the board. And look, no green on my board. Super fine chives. Come on to the basil. Open up the leaf, tip to tip. About 10, 12 leaves maximum, otherwise it starts to bruise. Open up those leaves, gently roll them, almost like a cigar. Don't bruise the leaf. Clean knife, hold, finger, thumb, three finger rule in front. And again, let the knife do the work. As you can see, the basil is not bruised. It's sliced super fine. In the culinary world, this is called a chiffonade. And it stays a beautiful color. If I had to push my fingers down, and look what happens, the goodness comes out. And there we have the most amazing chiffonade. Just smell that. The fragrance inside there is incredible. And look, I've got nothing on my board. Clean, super fine chopped chives and a super finely chopped basil. Both herds chopped without bruising.